Hey, what's up everybody? Jay Rabian here. A little bit of Duel Links. Wanted to show off a fun fun deck that we just just saw yesterday. Uh, held that Jay Rabian Cup tournament yesterday, first of its kind. And uh, the winner, first place, our man Danny Pingy came out with this deck. This is the deck he used the entire tournament. He came in first place with this deck. Very strong. I mean, Toon Barrel Dragon with 3-star motion. Once you get Toon Barrel out, he's a force to be reckoned with on his own. But if you somehow also get Toon Kingdom out alongside him, he's damn near invincible. Uh, so the deck, the deck, I mean, has already been tested. Came in first place at the Raven Cup. Went up against a lot of other decks. Top four decks were this deck here. Uh, there were two Red Eyes decks, and then Tut Pup himself, Tut, Tut Pup himself was there with a, a Ninja deck. So I mean, this deck has been tested. It has been through a lot. It has come out on top. I wanted to show it off a little bit and test it out myself a little bit and uh, show it and share that with you guys. So let's do it. Let's go ahead and get straight into some ranked some ranked funness with it. Uh, there will be a link in the description for that deck screenshot as well. Uh, but here we go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's hope for uh, some fun fun opness right here. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll see though. We will see. What is it? Going second? Okay. We'll go second. That's fine with me. Alright. So he's gonna go first. He didn't use any balance or anything, right? So we're going probably against the Red Eyes Beatdown. It's my first guess. We opened up with Toon Barrel, so that's pretty good. We can start up. Start up strong. Face down monster here, and that's it. All right, I like that. Sergeant Electro, we're gonna go ahead and three star to moat. Let's go ahead and pull out Toon Barrel Dragon. Let's go ahead and see if we can activate that ability and get rid of this monster over here. Can we get that? Let's get them heads. Come on, come on. Nice. So goodbye to your monster. What was it? Goblin Zombie, Red Eyes Zombie deck, or Ill Blood Supervised, maybe? Mm -hmm. Who knows? What do we see here? A Gozuki, of course. Okay, okay, okay. And then we're gonna set Providence. Uh, Providence protects us from... I guess, I mean, if I keep everything in my hand, Providence can protect us from a lot of stuff. Or can negate effect, negate a trap, or a spell. Uh, I think I'm gonna set the rare metal, though. Keep the rest in hand. Do it this way. Cannot attack direct the first turn to summon. Uh, it's part of being attuned, but it's all right. Still put in some work already. Getting rid of that monster. We're seeing Gozuki come out. All right. The thing is, do I negate his effect? In which case, if he has a red eye zombie in hand already, he'll he'll slap it on the field. I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm gonna. I mean, and if he mills a Gozuki, then that's not that big of a deal either. So I'm just gonna let him go ahead with it. Mills of Gozuki, so he probably has the red eyes, that's fine. Da, 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 da. Excuse me. Get a drink really quick. Oh, heavy Knight actually is what he does, okay. It's interesting. I wonder why he does, just went through all this trouble. Econ, I don't know. Like, My Toon Barrel Dragon was not special summoned, so, I mean, I feel no need to, to stop this. Is he going to attack thinking that it was special summoned? So, I don't think this, if, if that's what happens, I mean, this is not going to be the best example, I guess, of how good this deck is, playing against someone who who does this. I mean, I mean, or are we going to see a Super Rush from the hand? Super Rush from the hand, okay. Uh, so here we're gonna have to. Oh, but we don't have econ on the field. We're gonna have to negate it with our econ and ultimate providence. Because rare metal will not protect us. Because we're not being targeted by the spell. Only he is. So we're gonna have to providence that. Get rid of econ for providence. I'm glad. I'm glad. Okay.
Do you want to activate this now and give him an extra 500 points of damage? I don't think so. Supervise allows him to get his Heavy Knight back, but it's not going to do him a lot of good. It's not going to, I mean... It's a waste, to me, that was a waste of a Supervise. Like, I don't know why he, uh... I guess to maintain field presence in case I didn't let his attack go through. Oh man, and, and there you go. We're pretty much good. I don't see a lot of things happening for him to, to stop us from winning right now. That top deck though. Uh, let's get rid of Gozuki first if we can. Can we? Eh? No, not for free, not this time. Alright, that's fine. Let's go ahead and throw down that, that Toon Kingdom. Alright, what do we get rid of here? Let's see. Two Dekoichis and a Sergeant Electra. It's not the end of the world. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to go ahead and summon Sergeant Electra. That way I'll be able to clear field. At least try to. I can attack direct with Toon Kingdom, I forgot. Ooh, but I want to clear field. No, I don't want to clear field. Attack direct, right? Does not have Kribo in hand. Uh, 16. Oh, it's almost enough to get lethal. So close to being able to get lethal, but not quite there. Not quite there. Damage step. Alright, alright. We have 200 life points. He's got two cards. I don't know what they could be. We know one of them. We know at least. All right, so this we're, we're good to attack now. There's no way that's a sphere Karibo. Actually, we win. I mean, if that's if he drew a sphere Karibo, then we don't win yet. But if it's not a sphere Karibo, we win. Unless he sets it, it's a back row that can help him. I don't know. Okay, ends his turn. If it's not sphere Karibo, we win. Or Karibo, I guess. I guess now it could be just normal Karibo, and that could also save him. See if we can get rid of this face down, please. Uh, we cannot. All right, rip. That's all right. Whatever. Not the end of the world. Can't use our ability here yet either. So let's see if we can just attack him directly for game. Yes, we can. GG, buddy. And there you go. There it is, right there. If you get Toon Kingdom on the field with Toon Barrel Dragon, it's ridiculous. He can attack directly. He can't be destroyed, and he also has one card removal effect with, with a coin flip. You know, granted, but, but still, every single turn. So that's awesome. So there goes our first duel. Uh, one and zero, I guess, for this video right now with that. Not bad at all. All right, all right. Against El Mago. El Me... Me... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It is fun. Now we have Mr. Trolling 69. All right, let's get it, friend. <clears throat> let's get it, let's get it. Uh, we're gonna go first, all right. I don't mind going first. Uh, let's see what kind of starting hand we have, though. Power of Dark, okay, we're playing against Yami deck. That's weird. All right, not a bad starting hand at all. We're going to start out with... Actually, you know what? We can go ahead and start out with Toon Barrel. I don't mind doing that at all. We can try to get rid of Yami right away. We've got some decent back row support, so we're going to do it. Screw it. Let's go in. Right off the bat, let's go ahead and throw down our Toon Barrel Dragon. Let's see if we can get rid of that field spell. What do we got? Oh, no luck. That's all right. We're going to throw down Curse, we're going to throw down Divine Wrath, we're going to end our turn. Let's see what our friend here has for us. I'm expecting maybe Fiends, maybe Arch Fiends, I don't know. Summons a La Jin. okay, we got La Jin on the field. Renders my Curse of Anubis nearly useless. Oh, that's not fun. That's not fun at all. Feels cut, man. Now we have a problem. Now we have a problem. Yo, Garth. Yo, 
draw a card. No, I do not. Alright. That's kind of okay if we can get uh, that. Uh, the tribute summons for something bigger than we are still in trouble, but if not, we're okay. It might econ, it might OTC again, I don't know. This might be a fiend uh, OTC deck, I mean, running like, kind of like Harpy's Vanilla used to run. Um, where, you know, you just ran lots of vanilla monsters with three OTCs. I guess we'll find out now. Opponent has declared battle. No. Battle step. No. Now doing the damage step. Yes, we will rare metamorph on our buddy here. Alright, alright. Give him 500 attack. We're a little bit bigger than you now. We kill your guy off the field. Goodbye. What's next to come? Now we see him in his turn. Alright, I like that. See, Jowls, I want Jowls, because Jowls is going to be the, the best thing we have to try and um, to try and pull out uh, another Tomb Bell Dragon, since we can't three-star the moat anymore without life points. I'm afraid to attack now, because if he has Karibo in hand, um, then I'll, I'll lose my Sergeant Electro for sure. So I think that we're, we're just going to wait. We're not going to make any move here. We're going to pass. Because, yeah. Plus, if he discards Kribo, yeah, he'll get a uh, Necrophere. Summonable. So we're going to pass. And see what he has going on. Summons another, another Displayed Rider. Sets a back row. turn. Not what I need, not what I need. Giraffe, Curse of Anubis. I don't want to keep waiting, so I think I'm just going to... I'm going to play in, I'm gonna play in Faith right now. I'm going to attack and see what happens. Um, we have Curse of Anubis. No, if I, if I attack into a, a mirror wall or... If I attack into a mirror wall, we lose. Whatever. I, I don't want to wait around anymore. Let's go ahead and just attack into it. Let's see what happens. And if we get karibo then that's that at least... Inspiration. Now that kind of sucks. Like, like the, the best situation would have been for us to have <clears throat> got hit with the Karibo. But unfortunately, we did not. Shit. So as soon as he goes into his. I'm not even going to wait for the battle phase. Just go ahead and activate Curse of Anubis now. He can still attack this card. I hope he doesn't. He probably will. Like, it doesn't make sense for him not to. But, uh... He does anything, maybe? Who knows? Sets a card. He wasn't going to set that card before, but for some reason decided to set it after I put him in defense mode. You know, I didn't need to activate that. I wish I wouldn't have now. Whatever. <laughs> All right, now we're pretty much done, homies. I don't see a lot. I don't see a lot we can do here. Well, no, I guess don't kind of sound yet. Can we lock down the back row? We're gonna try to. We locked it down. That's good. Uh, we can't attack actually without being able to use this rare metamorph. We could destroy the Doom Dog, but he'll probably get a Necrofear. Uh, Necrofear will 
be bigger than our Electro for sure. So, end our turn here is what we're going to do. I think the, the, the one downside I'm seeing is just that you have to protect your Toon Barrel at all costs once you get it on the field. Once you, once you get it on the field, you really have to protect it. Ryoku. Now will my rare metamorph, I wonder, negate this Ryoku? I mean, if it negates it, then we're safe. We're, we're alive at least. And it does negate it, okay. However, now we're not killing off one of his monsters with, you know, by negating, by activating during the damage step. But he has one card in hand, um, and a clogged field. Oh. Has a normal trap in the graveyard. Uh, we give up our own Toon Kingdom for this. Give up Toon Kingdom in order to negate that. Oh, my, my gameplay was frozen. I'm sorry. That sucked. Gameplay was frozen. There we go, I got it back, sorry. But un we unclogging his field, we negated his, his Displator's effect with Divine Wrath, which unclogged his field, which allowed him to summon uh, Necrofear, so unfortunately we do still lose this one. Okay. So I think the lesson the lesson to take away there is, is one, uh, watch our gameplay and make sure we don't get frozen while we're trying to record a video for YouTube. And the video, oh, my, 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 my camera got frozen too, that's, that's good. Let's, uh, let's have that not happen anymore, please. <laughs> There we go. All right. So, so one, yeah, watch your recording. Make sure it doesn't get botched during. So, apologies for that. But two, yeah, it seems like it's so important to protect that, uh, protect that, um, that tune barrel. Like, if you pull it out, then you really need to make sure you can keep it, keep it there. We need Danny or coaching us to help us uh, know better the right things to do. <laughs> make those 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 champion championship winning plays. I think this might be the last last duel for this video, my friends. Let's see how it goes, shall we? Okay. With this opening hand, I think I'm just gonna set this and this. In turn. And we didn't see balance or anything, so probably red eyes beat down. Maybe another zombie deck, I don't know. Vanguard throws away. Yeah. A wyvern, okay. What a surprise. Attack into Dekoichi. Give her a Metamorph. Let's see that Toon Barrel next, maybe. Or another rare Metamorph. Alright. Let's go ahead and activate Electro on his back row. See if we can shut that down. We do easily shut that down. That's awesome. We're gonna set one rare metal. Uh, I think I want to set both, actually. I think I need to. I mean, I can set Curse of Anubis, which might keep him alive, but I think setting another rare metal, uh, because we'll go to 21, which is which is going to beat this, but if he discards more, then we won't. Uh, if he, dis he could discard potentially a lot, so we'll go with Curse. We'll go with Curse of Anubis. If he discards, uh, then we'll, we'll have to use Curse of Anubis, but if not, I guess we'll be able to stick with that rare metal more. Stamping destruction, that's fun. That stinks, actually this car. Get that get that one hundred points for our glossy bonus, you know, farm 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 life. Gotta make sure we get the, the hundred points for a glossy bonus. Red eyes insight, that's always fun. Let's get red eyes insight popping off. Throwing away a vanilla red eyes, that's kind of annoying. I hate playing against the vanilla red eyes, I really do, just because I hate having to worry about about champion's vigilance. And the fact that this was not chainable at all, uh, kind of makes me think this could be a champion's vigilance here. Damn, that sucks. The fact that he did that too, we would have 100% killed this killed this uh, Vanguard too if he hadn't. Got rid of our, gotten if we had set either set double rare metal or he got hit had not gotten rid of one. Damn, I can't talk. So now we have a red eyes out. So if he does have another vigilance, so we know 
we know at least the spirit's not going to be chainable. Uh, that's something, I guess. Uh, to locking him down. We did not draw a team barrel yet again, so let's lock this one down here. Uh, we are not stopped, that's good. Uh, we'll set both cards here. Uh, yeah, we'll set. Kind of wish I had held on to this rare metal now because rare metal wasn't going to do me a lot of good. Uh, on this field right now. <sighs> Could have at least kept it as a, an option to negate a potential trap that would cause problems. We got beat down coming in hot. Beat down really, really messes things up for us because now Rare Metal's not going to help me. Rare Metal's going to get rid of his Wyvern, and that's it. Uh, I guess I'll Rare Metal to do that. Instead of saving it, mm, get Wyvern in the graveyard. And again, I don't know if I want to do that or if I just want to Econ here. Because this is going to open up his back row completely. Econ take. And the thing is, is, is after doing this, if he has the Champion's Vigilance, then, um... One, it's activatable right now. Okay, well there you go. And here is why I don't love playing against the red eyes. That's alright though, whatever. We lose, GG. I guess after that, that rough L, we could play one more duel. Try to see if we can end this in a win, at least, hopefully. You know, watch it, watching watching me lose once, lo win once and lose twice with uh, the deck doesn't exactly uh, make it seem appear to be uh, <laughs> champion winning stuff. But remember, it takes more than a great deck to win win a tournament. Okay, you also have to be super duper good, which you know I totally am, but I'm also super duper good at misplaying. So you know. Uh, plus, and that was also definitely a bricky bricky game as well. That that time, I mean, we drew into nothing that we needed. Oh no, so this is it. Put it online for this video, you guys. Alright, we're going in hard with this. So let's let's go in. Let's let's make a let's make this a win, shall we? Uh not, not a perfect starting hand, but it could be worse. Definitely could be worse. Balance with the creator. Interesting. We're opening up creator. So definitely interesting here. Special summoning a creator in defense mode right off the bat. It's kind of kinda of crazy. Uh, Thunder Deck, maybe? Thunder Deck with the Creator and, and friends? Um, it's not a bad starting hand. We're gonna, I think, throw down Providence here. Throw down one Econ. To say the truth, I kind of want to throw down another one just to keep us safe from, uh, losing our Jows here. Because if we can pick up a Tomb Barrel, but doing that, no. Doing that is, like, is, is silly because, like, anytime I do something like that, and I, I never pick up my Tomb Barrel, like, I never, anytime I set up a Jowls, like, because it's just a chance, you know, we're, we have four four cards out of 15 right now that can be a Toon Barrel Drive. Three Toon Barrels and Toon Table of Contents, so let's see what happens. So he does, he goes ahead and pops out the Crater, Crater's Effect. If I had a monster in hand, I could negate it, but I don't, so rip. Judgment of Thunder, when a, when a Thunder-type monster is summoned to your field, except during the damage step, target one card your opponent controls, destroy that target. It's definitely kind of a neat card. Wow, okay, so we're gonna get another another creator on the field. That's fun. This time in attack mode. And Judgment of Thunder. Ooh. One card your opponent controls, and of course he chooses our guy here. So we're going to just econ take right now. It's the play. That's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Like I mean, and the fact that he opened up with the kind of hand that could make these plays is also, I think, even more crazy. Do I want to take his attack mode one or defense mode? I mean, if I take his attack mode, he has, yeah, we'll take the attack mode. What's the play now? Ends his turn. Tomb Barrel Dragon for the win. Oh my god, yes. Thank you, Art of the Cards. Art of the Cards showing up, showing some love. That's what we need in our life. Get out of here, buddy.
Do we want to start getting rid of the creators, I wonder, or do we want to try to get rid of that field spell that's making us weak? I think we want to get rid of Umi first. Tell you the truth. Please go through. Yes! Alright, alright. So now we do not have to worry about dying to these guys and having... We can't attack with them anyways. Do I want to keep in hand enemy controller for ultimate providence? I don't think... I, I don't foresee any kind of spell causing a major problem. Uh, I'll hold on to it. I think the chance... The, the chance of him attacking though and me needing to use enemy controller defensively is not... Uh, is definitely a lot less likely than him drawing into some sort of spell that could help him out a lot. So we'll, we'll hold on to it as as food or whatever uh, for our ammo or whatever for our uh, ultimate providence. So he draws one, goes into defense mode, ends his turn. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get rid of these guys. Curse Manubis, not bad defensive card here. We'll hold on to it actually for ultimate providence. Let's see if we can get rid of these guys. I just. Just realize that he'll probably uh, get rid of one. Nice. Uh, if he has Karibo in hand, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this because what he'll do is he'll just be able to special summon his creators. You can target one monster graveyard, yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna try to get rid of this this creator if we can. Let's see. We're gonna go and attack, and we're gonna wait. Oh, I can attack directly. I forgot. I'm so stupid. Oh my god, I feel stupid. I forgot I can attack directly with Tomb Kingdom on the field. Is the battle step. Well, I guess uh, we're gonna go through with this plan and we're gonna get rid of his crater. And that's why this is, uh, you know, that, that's that's the only reason this deck is going two and two for this video, not not one and two. And that's assuming we're gonna win this duel, which I'm assuming we're gonna win this duel because we have taken we have taken the field basically. He has two cards right now. He's, he has nothing on the field. We have Tomb Kingdom and Tomb Barrow, which is almost damn near unstoppable. And we have an old Providence with a trap negation waiting in the, wing, in the wings. If I can just remember that I can attack directly when I have my guy in the field, then I'll be all right. If I can just keep that in mind. Let's see if we can destroy his face down. Not that it really is a huge problem right now, but always wanted to get rid of their cards if we can. We got it. That was a, a, okay. Whatever. So now we can attack him directly. Even if he had that on the field, we'd still be good to attack. All right, so we got him at 1100. <clears throat> Again, he's, he has two cards in hand, nothing on the field, and we have a pretty stacked field right now. Yeah, he sets a card. Unless that's a Kribo in his hand, there's not a lot going for him. Uh, Tune table of contents, we'll go ahead and use it for deck thing. Deck thing is deck winning. No, shit. Deck thinning is game winning. That's what they say. So we'll go ahead and pull out another Tune Barrel. Not that we need it. Uh, I will summon Sergeant Electro. In case this effect doesn't go through, I can still attack it, destroy it, and then have another card to attack him directly. Um, but let's see if we can get rid of the face down. I probably should have done that first, actually, but it's okay. So here we go. Let's see this. Let's see. Let's see these heads right now, please. Maybe, maybe. All right. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. So goodbye that, and goodbye any chance you had of maybe winning this duel, my friend. We'll let our little buddy here finish. How about that? Alright, we did it. Nice. Good game. So there you have it. This deck is retarded. Awesome. I mean, I would say as long as you don't brick, but I really didn't think it was... It, it, like, Danny says for him, the deck hardly ever bricks. And and I think a lot of that, like, a lot, a lot of what you saw with me playing has to do is, is maybe not so much of, of a brick as more maybe just I gotta work, work on my game and work on my not misplaying. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. Uh, if you enjoyed it enough, please subscribe to the channel. It makes me feel cool. I uh, hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastic day. And I hope to see you next time. See you guys later.